Okay guys, here is our extra review. So let's go through this. Um, I give you a graph, you give me back the equation. First one you're looking at is a vertical hyperbola. So if I look at this, I can tell that the center is at what, negative 3, 2. I can look at this and tell you that B is equal to 2. I can finish drawing this box. And from there, I can tell you that A is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this equation is, uh, since it's vertical, the Y goes first. Y minus 2 squared over 4 minus X plus 3 squared over 16 equal 1. Next one, horizontal. Um, I can see that the center is at negative 4, negative 1. One, I look at this and see one, two, three. A is equal to three. Complete the rectangle here. And I see that B is equal to two. So this is X plus four squared over nine minus Y plus one squared over four equal one. Parabolas. Uh, this is a parabola that opens down. This form is y minus k equal 1 over 4p x minus h squared. The vertex is negative 1, 5. I know that p is going to be negative here, and it looks like p is equal to negative 1 because the distance from the vert vertex of the focus is 1. So this is y minus 5 equal negative one-fourth x plus one squared. Next one, this is a horizontal, so this is going to be x minus h equal one over four p y minus k squared. So the vertex is negative two one. It looks like p is also going to be negative here because it opens to the left. And what's the distance from, if you look at, you've got this blue line is at negative 2.5. The vertex is at negative 2, excuse me, the blue line is at negative 1.5. So the blue line negative 3 has is negative 1.5. What's the distance from negative 1.5 to negative 2? That distance is 1 half. So now I know that P is negative 1 half. So this equation is... Um, x plus 2 equal 1 over 4 times negative 1 half times y minus 1 squared. So that is x plus 2 equal negative 1 half y minus 1 squared. Next page, completing the square. You got to be real solid with your process here to not make mistakes. Get the constant on the right side. So this is 4 x squared. Let's gather the x's and the y's together. So plus 8x minus 5y squared plus 30y. Add the 41 to both sides equals 61. Now to complete the square, factor out the 4. This is x squared. So factoring out the 4, this is x squared plus 2x. Leave some space. Factor out a negative 5. That's y squared minus 6y. Leave some space. Equals 61. To complete the square, I need to add 1 squared here. I need to add 3 squared here. So what did I really do? So this looks like I added 4. And right here, it looks like 9 times 5. It looks like I subtracted 45. Okay, So this is 65 minus 45. That's 20. So I'm left with 4. X plus 1 squared minus 5. Y minus 3 squared equal 20. I want that to be equal to 1. Divide everything by 20. And you get X plus 1 squared. 20 divided by 4 is 5 minus 
y minus 3 squared. 20 divided by 5 is 4 equal 1. Complete the square of a parabola. I've got to complete the square in x. This is going to be the form y minus k is 1 over 4p x minus h squared. So y minus 17 equal, factor out the 2, x squared minus 6x. Now to complete the square, you're going to add 3 squared. So that's 9 times 2. You just added 18. You've got to add 18 to the left. So this is y plus 1 equal 2, x minus 3 squared. Same process here. This is a, a hyperbola. Got to move that 31 to the other side, gather up like terms. So this is negative 4, x squared minus 16x plus 20, y squared plus 20y equal 31. Now factor out negative 4, x squared plus um, uh, 4x. So that's what negative 4x squared minus 16x. Leave some space. Factor out a 20. y squared plus y equal 31. Now to complete the square, I'm adding 2 squared. And here I'm adding 1 half squared. So this is 4 times 4. I subtracted 16. So I need to do that on the, uh, the right side. 1 fourth, 1 half squared is 1 fourth. 1 fourth of 20 is 5. So if I add 5 to the right, I have to add it. Excuse me, add to the left, I add it to the right. So this is 36 minus 16. This side equals 20. And I'm left with negative 4. x plus 2 squared plus 20, y plus 1 half squared. So this is 20, y plus 1 half squared over 20, minus 4, x plus 2 squared over 20, equal 20 over 20. So I get y plus 1 half squared. Minus 20 over 4 is 5, so this is x plus 2 squared over 5 equal 1. Next one is a parabola. The y's are squared, so this is going to be x minus h equal 1 over 4p, y minus k squared. So this is going to be x minus 5 equal 5y squared plus 10y x minus 5 equal, factor out of 5, y squared plus 2y plus, to complete the square there, I need to add 1 squared. So that is equivalent of adding 5 to the right. I must add 5 to the left, and I get x equal 5, y plus 1 squared. Next set of problems, it's all graphing, okay? Where is the center of this hyperbola? This center is going to be at 3, negative 1. So 1, 2, 3. 3, negative 1. That is the center. Now if I look at it, A is equal to 2. B is equal to 1. So if I come over here, I get A is equal to 2. B is equal to 1. So when I connect this and draw a rectangle here, I can draw the asymptotes. I know that this is going to be a horizontal hyperbola. So the vertices are going to be at what? 5, negative 1, and 1, negative 1. The focal length, remember c squared, is a squared plus b squared. So c squared is going to be 4 plus 1. So c is equal to the square root of 5. So that's a number that's slightly bigger than 2. So I'm going to have focal points that are going to be somewhere right in here. Okay, Those are the two focal points.
And where are those points? Those are going to be square root of 5 distance away from the center. So those points are 3 plus the square root of 5, negative 1, and 3 minus the square root of 5, negative 1. Equation of the asymptotes. That's y minus k equal plus or minus b over a, x minus h. So y plus 1 equal b over a is plus or minus 1 half x minus 3. Next one is a uh, parabola, parabola that opens up or down. This one opens down. Okay. So the vertex is negative 2, 0. Uh, the axis of symmetry is going to be this vertical line right here, which is x equal negative 2. The focus, if 1 over 4p equal negative 1 over 8, that means that p is equal to negative 2. So if it opens down, there's a focus right here and a directrix right here. So the focus is going to be negative 2, negative 2, and the directrix is the line y equal 2. Continuing with the next hyperbola, this is centered at negative 5, 1. I know that a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2, so 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is vertical, so that's a vertex. So the vertices are at negative 5 and um, three and negative five negative one focal length c squared equal a squared plus b squared which is 13 so c is equal to the square root of 13 so that's a number between three and four so somewhere one two three somewhere up here is a focus and one two three somewhere down here is a focus those points are at negative 5 and 3 plus root 13, excuse me, negative 5, 1 plus square root of 13, and negative 5, 1 minus square root of 13. Equation of the asymptotes, y minus 1 equal plus or minus b over a x minus h. There we go. Next one is a uh, parabola. This is a parabola that opens up. So the vertex is at 1, 2. And that means the axis of symmetry is this vertical line at x equal 1. The focus, 1 over 4p is equal to 1 twelfth. That means that p is equal to 3. So, 1, 2, 3, there's my focus at 0, 5, excuse me, 1, 5. And the directrix, 1, 2, 3, is this line right here at y equal negative 1. Next few scenarios are I describe um, a condition and you give me back the graph. Give the equation of the two different hyperbolas that are centered at negative 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, with a conjugate axis of 4 and a transverse of 5. So here, I don't know which of these is vertical and which is horizontal. So there are two different possibilities. So if this is a horizontal um, um, hyperbola, so if it's horizontal, that means that the transverse goes horizontal. So that would mean if it's horizontal, let's do that case. For horizontal, that means that the transverse is 5, that's a horizontal. 
and the vertical is the conjugate, and that is going to be 4. So that means if, if this is a length 5, 1, 2, and a half, 1, 2, and a half, and then if this is 4, 1, 2, okay, so if it's horizontal, I've got this situation. So this tells me that A is equal to 2.5 or 5 halves, and B is equal to 2. It's centered at negative 3, 2, so this one is x plus 3 squared over 5 halves squared minus y minus 2 squared over 4 equal 1. So that's a possibility. The other possibility would be I had a vertical. So if I had a vertical hyperbola centered at that same point, so if it were vertical, and that would mean the vertical is the transverse. So 1, 2, and a half, 1, 2, and a half, 1, 2, and 1, 2. So it would be this scenario. So in, if it's vertical, then I've got B is equal to 5 halves and A is equal to 2. So that is what Y minus 2 squared over 5 halves squared minus X uh, plus 3 squared over 4 equal 1. So two different possibilities for, uh, for that one. Looking at the next one, give the equation of the parabola with a vertex of negative 1, negative 1, and a focus of negative 1, 1. So vertex and focus, this is the scenario that you're after. It has to be y minus k is 1 over 4p, x minus h squared. Here I know that p is positive, and I can see that p is equal to 2. So this is y plus 1 equal 1 eighth x plus 1 squared. Next one, give the equation of the hyperbola. Centered at 2, negative 4. Okay. So 2, negative 4 with a vertex at 2, negative 2. So there's a vertex, and I've got a center, and a focus at 2, negative 1. So I've got a focus there. So this means that this is hyperbola that does like this. So the center, so I've got the center at uh, 2, negative 4. The distance from the center to the vertex is 2, so B is equal to 2. The distance from the center to the focus is 3. So c is equal to 3. c squared is a squared plus b squared. So that means that a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared, which is 9 minus 4, which is 5. So that means that a is equal to the square root of 5. So I have a, b, and the center. This is vertical. So this is y plus 4 squared over 4 minus x minus 2 squared over um, a squared, which is 5, equal 1. Give the equation of the parabola with a focus of negative 5, 5. That's a focus. Directrix y equal negative 3. Okay, so if that's the directrix and the focus, there's a vertex halfway in between there. So, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the vertex. It has to do this. So the vertex is negative 5, 1. P is positive. P is equal to 4 here. So this equation is y minus k equal 1 over 4p x minus h squared. So it's y minus 1 equal 1 over p, p is 4, so that's 16, x plus 5 squared. Next one, give the equation of the horizontal parabola with a vertex of 0, 2, and a leading coefficient of the quadratic term being 1. Horizontal, x minus h is 1 over 4p, y minus k squared. 
leading coefficient of quadratic term is 1. What's the quadratic term here? It's y squared. What's the coefficient of y squared? It's 1 over 4p. So 1 over 4p has to equal 1. So this equation is x minus 0 equal 1, y minus 2 squared, or x equal y minus 2 squared. And the last one, make a correction here. These are vertices. Give the equation of the pergola with vertices at negative 4, 4, and 6, 4. If those are vertices, you know that this is what's going on. That's what the hyperbola is doing. Conjugate axis of 12. So, so the conjugate axis, if the conjugate axis, so where's the center going to be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is the center right there. So the center is 1, 4. And the conjugate axis is 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So uh, if I look at that, this is 4. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is where that is. Um, so the B is equal to 6. And A is equal to, what did I say, 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so A is 5. And B is 6. So this is, if it's horizontal, that is X minus 1 squared over 25 minus y minus 4 squared over 36 equal 1.